this is where we've made it so far. We started off in Boston, did a little bit of fishing in the Charles River. Then we transitioned into some saltwater game and we chased after some stripers, some bluefish in Cape Cod. Um, and that's where we're still at today. We're fishing this place. That fish is busted right there. They're busting right there on that buoy. Oh my God, that's so sick. Uh, anyway, day three, we've woken up bright and breezy. We're here on the Great Pond in East Falmouth. So we're sticking kind of on the western part of the Cape, but eventually throughout today, we'll kind of transition over to the, uh, like the heel of the Cape where uh, Chatham is. But we, we thought we'd, uh, oh my God, there's bait everywhere. Look at that. This is crazy. No, look at it, it's everywhere. Yeah. Welcome back to Uncharted. This time we're gonna be making our way from Boston to Cape Cod. Our journey begins in Boston as we continue our way, chasing after blitzing bass, all the while competing amongst ourselves for a $1,000 charitable donation on behalf of Mercury Marine and Ketchco. Over the next few days, we'll be immersing ourselves in the East Coast culture while filming and capturing the whole story for all of you at home. Oh my gosh, good one. Oh my God, giant, giant, giant. Let's go! Lock down and get ready for another episode of Uncharted. We had a really crazy strong southwest wind yesterday, which was kind of a bummer for fishing, but I think it set us up for maybe potentially a good day of fishing today because it's pushed not only all that warm water into these bays and these little saltwater ponds, but it's also, as you can see, pushed in millions of bunker. Like, I think it's safe to say there is a ridiculous amount of bunker in here. So um, the good thing is a striper eat bunker, bluefish eat bunker. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a good, easy meal. And when there's this many, um, yeah, I mean, there's, there, there has to be big fish just short behind. So let's get after, let's get in the boat. Enough of the intro. We'll meet you guys on the salt. Let's crank them. As we just saw at the dock, there were millions, I mean like hundreds of thousands of bunker. And this right here, I feel like it's gonna imitate the best. Uh, Cause they're what, like two to three inches probably? Yeah, they're really little. And I mean, this this bait, uh, this is actually a brand new bait from uh, 10,000 fish. Uh, it's called Shimmer Swimmer. Uh, and I, I used this before back, back home and it just catch a whole lot of bass for me the, the time I use it. So I'm pretty sure today, it's gonna catch some fish for us, so I'm, I can almost guarantee that. Yo estoy pescando con un shimmer swimmer. All right, so today's point system is gonna go like this. First fish, 75 points. Each fish is 50 points. The most fish, 100 points. Fish over 18 inches, 75 points. And we have a bonus oyster challenge for 100 points. So, as I was saying earlier, we are all fishing for different charities. I'm fishing for the Boston Firefighters Burn Foundation, and these guys are fishing for Wild Care Cape Cod Organization. I'm fishing for Fishing with Warriors. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. I saw that. On. Oh, we got. We got. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah, it feels decent. Is that the first cast after eating yeah, my sandwich? Good. I think that's the luck right there, boys. I saw it. I saw. I saw the Can't fight. Can't tell. What do you have? I don't know. He's fighting pretty good. Stripey. Stripey. Yeah. yeah. First one of the day. Oh, oh yeah. Take it. You got the first fish uh, yesterday too. I did. I'm running hot on the first fish. Not great overall. He's coming in. Full swim bait? Shoop. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, I saw that bite too. First blood. Fish number one. I don't think he's going to reach the 18 inch mark, so we're going to toss him back. But first, first fish, fish of the day. Take it. I, I saw that bite as soon as you made that cast. What? You really didn't like what? Two, two times? And you had that bite, right? Like it was as soon as you land. As soon as your lure land, kind of, right? Couple yeah, and that rod went like bent all over. I was like, yup, that's a big fish right there. So we're fishing a completely new scenario right now. This is kind of like a saltwater pond. 
Um, it stays full of water, even on low tide, but it's really, oh wait, I just got hit, I just got hit, I just got hit. Oh, get it. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Yes. Oh, let's go. Yes, he's on the top water, Sick. baby. Oh, he pulled off. Oh, it came off. There could be another one under there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep another one under there. Oh, my God. Damn it. I, I was that was oh. Ooh. on, on, on. Right in the mouth of this yeah, little creek. Oh, this feels like a better fish, too. Hell yeah. Woo. Come on. They're, they're probably stacked up out in front of there. Oh, you can see it. Oh, this one feels actually significantly heavier than the last one. Yeah. Nice one. Oh, another one. Is he on? He just he dropped the double straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice one. I'll say he's over 18 inches for sure. Like two casts later, another decent striper. Striped bass on the uh, Biospawn Exoswim. Just keeping it really high up in the water column, keep my rod tip up, I'm just kind of slowly reeling it. But really cool little spot we came to. It's like a mouth of a little creek that's going back and it seems like the fish are just stacked up there because John had a blow up on his top water. It was chasing his bait down and like during that same cast, that one ate. Pretty fish. So. Right now there's an absolute ton of bait in here and I'm just kind of looking for some areas where these fish could be stacked up, pinning down this bait. Right here we've got kind of an area where the water's still flowing out of the pond and there's evidently quite a few stripers just kind of uh, positioned right at the mouth of that waiting for bait to flood on out of there. There we go. Oh, there's oh, one blowing up. There's one. Is that on you? Yeah, oh, that's sick. Me. Oh, that one feels good. <laughs> that one feels good. <laughs> nice. Perfect timing, dude. Perfect timing. On the top water. Let's go, baby! Oh, this is yeah. so much fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is a good fish. Too. Oh, wow. That's a good one. Boys, this is a good fish. Like a really nice one. This is the biggest one of the whole trip right here. Someone get the net. Oh, my God. That's a good one. That's a good one. Whew, he's barely hooked. Biggest one of the trip right here. Those are big fish. Those are some large fish in there. Net him. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The net broke. Just bring him in. We're good. We're good. That was super sloppy. In there. It's all good. We got him in. Check out that striper. That is the size we were looking for. Someone take the motor, just make sure we don't get super close. I'm gonna get this guy unhooked. That right there is a striper we are looking for. Pretty solid fish, just a step above a schoolie, in my opinion at least. Quality, quality for a pond. This is a good fish. That is definitely the biggest fish we have caught this trip. Not a behemoth by any means, but it's good to get him out of a pond like that. Look at this fish, man, on the top where my first one of the day. And it's definitely the biggest one we've got of the trip so far. So gnarly. This one's definitely like 26, 27 maybe. I don't know, it's a long fish. Maybe, maybe 26, 25. Yes! <laughs> That's what I get for hooking him in the face. Pong. Pong. Ah, decent. Yeah. Probably schooly. Oh yeah. First fish. Face a striper. I feel the hair shakes. I'm cool with this striper too, man. Oh, yeah. Woo! Nice. First fish for me. Came on that little shimmer swimmer. We've been here, what, like an hour? Less than an hour, probably? Probably 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, and we're. Hopefully, we can top the day from yesterday. It's gonna be hard, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, this is just a nice little schoolie, probably like 15 inch. It hit my uh, shimmer swimmer really, really, really good. Uh, really nice fish. I'm gonna let him go, get another one. Adios, amigo. Oh yeah, making that little bit of a bay area. Oh, here he was! Oh my god! He chased you all the way in? All the way in. Chased me all the way in. That was a good one too. Not a small fish. Oh, got him! Right. Got him! <laughs> oh, that's a good fish, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. <laughs> Woo! That, that's a good fish. That's as big as the one John just caught. Ready? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. I think I just stole this fish from John. So he was throwing this popper, and that fish chased it all the way to the boat. And I just threw this exo swim out in front and just kind of like basically yeah, figure eighted it, it basically and jacked him. So sick. Oh, look at that. Came right on. Came on pop, too. 
definitely over 18 inches. Beautiful, beautiful fish, super aggressive. John just pointed out as well that we're finding a lot of these fish up on the flats. It's like they're pushing bait up there. There's not massive schools of these striper up here, but we're finding them here and there, which is good. And as long as they're staying aggressive and eating, I mean, I think we're gonna have a great day. It's already been a great day. Oh, there we, there we go, I'm on. I'm on. Perfect. There we go. I'm on. Sweet. Top water. Yeah, top water. Top water. Not a bad one either. It seems like the little bit larger fish are in the shallows. Yeah. Which is so funny. All right, boat flip. That's my second fish. Two over 18. That's extra points. Looking good. Oh, man. Can't get enough of these guys, especially when they're eating on top. Let's go. I'm on. I'm on. That's a good one, too. Not a bad fish. There you go. Top water stripies. We got, a, we got, the, eight, we got the eight heavy. Woo! Boat flipping stripies. Okay, I'm gonna measure this guy right now. It's gonna be kind of a sloppy job, but I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, she's past 18. She's like 19 and a half. Sweet. Oh, you got Yeah. Ooh. Come on. So, I think we're kind of figuring out that they're keen on bigger baits today. Uh, this is my second strike on this rod uh, with this uh, larger dirt bait right there. So, like I was saying, I've been watching John and Matt just catching fish after fish with big lures like poppers. Uh, so, I just decided to switch to uh, larger dirt bait. I need more action. Adios, amigo. Oh, he's on. Matt, he on? No, he blew it out. Dude, I had him for a second. He, oh, serious, he's serious. Got him. He's back. He's back. Nice job. <laughs> oh my god. How's that one feel? That feels really good. That's actually a different fish than came at, came after oh it the first god. time. He I think. This hole for some reason. Oh my god, that was so sick. No, second top water fish for me of the day. John's been getting so many bites, throwing that giant pencil popper. I put on this smaller spook. Oh, that's nice he's a long boy. Oh yeah, he smoked it. That's a big one. Oh yeah, oh, wow. awesome fish. Smoked the top water. There we go, boys. Oh, got him. So much fun. Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Top water. All day, every day. All day, every day. Fish number five. This is not over 18. So we're heading back to the ramp, but we just saw this school of striper eating here. First cast hooked into a nice one, but not over 18. Matt is hooked up right now. And that one looks pretty good, bro. That's a nice one. On the popper. Top water. <laughs> oh, dude. Another one? Oh. Double. Dude, this. Ooh. No. Dude, this. Oh. Big one. Big one. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, if a touch leader counts, right? Yeah. All right. Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to bring it in leader. So, number six. And he's gone. See? Ha <laughs> ha. Woo! Oh, that one was side hook, so 
He fought on. really, really hard. He's on. You on? John is on. Little Swan oh, Day. Wow. Little Swan and Day. And I'm about to be on right now. Swan Day. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, God. There you go. There you go. I'm on. I'm on. There's lots of fish over here, boys. Oh! There's lots of fish over here, boys. They're doubled up right now. We're in for a triple. This is my fourth fish over 18 inches. I'm gonna drop it back. Oh, dude! Over 18 right here. Swallow the shimmer. Leader. Leader! Caught this guy on the shimmer swimmer with an underspin. He choked it. We found a little mini school swim striper. It was kind of a, a lull there after the topwater scene. And now we're getting them on a little bit of everything. Good fish. Oh, that's a nice one. Take them. You on? Double. Double, baby. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Come on. Trying to fight a fish in the back of the boat. It's going hard, now it's going back. Woo! Here we go. This is definitely over 18. Let me touch the leader real quick. All right. Oh, yes, baby. Adios, senor. Woo! Yes! We're definitely catching better fish than yesterday, bigger fish than yesterday. They're so pretty, so nice. Right now, fish are busting in front of us, so we're gonna go investigate, see what's going on there. This might be our last shot at a quick flurry, but you know, if we get one fish after this, it'd be huge and mega. There he is. Come on. Nice. Yes, all the way out there. Big fish, guys. Someone get in that. I'm dead serious. This is a giant. This is a giant fish. This is a giant fish. Like you guys don't understand, this is a big fish. This is this is the one. The one. This is the is one. The I'm one? dead serious. Somebody get that nut. I'm dead serious. This is the one. This is, I think, the 30. I think this is the dirty 30. Oh my god. That's a 20. 4,500 reel. Peeling drag. Oh yeah, that. Yep, yep, yep. This is the big yep, one. That's the big one, bro. This is the big sure, one. That's the big one. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, it's a good one. This is the biggest right for a con. Oh my god, this is good. Oh my god, boys. This one might go 15 pounds. Where we at? Right here. Oh my god, dude. Oh my, he's not got to hit that net. No, he's not. Okay? Just try your best. Oh, oh. Why don't you get a thing coming this way? We're Sorry, good. Good. No, you're fine. You're fine. Whoa. Barely. Oh my god. Bring it. Take your time. Take your time. Okay. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's go, boys! That is the fish we are after! Woo! Cape Cod, baby! Welcome to Uncharted! I'm shaking! That one might go close to 30. Oh, holy. That is a stud. Dude, you deserve this fish. Keep fishing, keep fishing. <laughs> You I'm deserve serious. this fish, bro. These You've are... been chasing for this fish all day, oh, dude. You, you called it too, dude. On the top one. Woo! <laughs> that's 34 inches right there. Wow, that's a big fish. 34 inch East Falmouth pig. This right here is the fish we've been after all day. Mission success. Let's put her back. She gone. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Dude, top water. <laughs> I'm big on this. I'm big on this. Old China, baby. Well, there's not much I can say. This day really speaks for itself. Incredibly legendary. I caught one of my biggest striped bass ever on top water. These boys had one of their best striper days, period. And we got to do it on a freaking pond that literally no one else was fishing. We saw like one other boat out today. And to see that kind of, that, that amount of bait, that amount of stripers, 
It's really a once in a lifetime. It's truly incredible. Uh, we are now gonna head on out of here, move towards Chatham, do some more exploring on the Cape. Unfortunately, we have to say farewell to the stripers, but this was this was a huge treat. If you guys have never come down the Cape before, you need to make it happen because uh, this is it. This is what you'll get. So this whole trip, we've kind of been going at our own pace, doing our own thing, fishing on our own schedule. But uh, we are now going to head on over. We're gonna meet up with a student named Steve, who was apparently pretty hot on the um, oyster scene. He's gonna show us uh, one of like the really cultural focal points um, here, not only in Cape, but specifically in Cape Cod, but specifically Chatham. So we're gonna see how he uh, harvests oysters and then maybe get to eat some ourselves. And I don't know, I really don't know what what, uh, what we have in stores uh, in this next stop. I'm excited to meet Steve and see what it's all about. We'll catch you there. So Chatham Shellfish Company was started by my partner in 1976 and he learned from an old timer who had an oyster farm in the river prior to that. And I'll show you kind of how we start our seed now. It's gonna, wow. So if you look down in these silos, it's just a, uh, a tube with a screen bottom. And we buy upwards of a million oysters at a time at one and a half millimeters. Those are infants or juvenile? These, these are juvenile. Oh, no way. Yeah, so these right now are, are four four to six millimeters, wow. I'd say. And we bought these um, about a month and a half ago. They were 1.5 millimeters. Wow. Wow. So what we're gonna do today is um, tour the river, Oyster River, which connects to Nantucket Sound and in the Atlantic Ocean, up to our oyster farm. We're gonna go around the farm looking at a couple different techniques that we use to grow oysters and the various stages of their growth. We'll probably be able to harvest some, bring them back here and then we'll do a little shucking competition with you guys. See that we have a lot of floating gear, just like the town has over there. We have some cages, but we also have individual floating bags. And um, so when the seed comes out of the upwell or at the shanty, this is the next stop for them, where they go into floating bags and, ca and floating cages. So everything that you see floating has, um, in all has over two million oysters in it. And it's all seed that we, we've bought this year, bought and grown. These, these are actually quite a bit larger. So these, these are upwards of an inch to two inches. This is seed that we would have bought back in uh, May, in June. You can see we have oysters planted directly on the bottom, drift over our spot here. So these are adult oysters, the slowest growers of the group that we put on the bottom where we just kind of let them do their thing. And we'll harvest these from January are from December 1st to, uh, to mid-June. So that's kind of it. In a nutshell, you got your seed that starts at the shanty in, in the river in an upweller, comes up to our floating nursery in individual floating bags. As it grows, we progress it into larger mesh bags. Then it comes out onto the farm. It'll go into either fixed bags on racks directly on the bottom or in a, a tumbling bag system where it, it creates a, a nice round um, deep cup oyster. It's uh, definitely not hard to appreciate this whole process that goes into this. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, going by some of these and fishing, I would have had no idea what this is, but now that Steve's kind of put this in perspective and the whole process and, and what age oyster goes into, uh, into, into what zone, it's, 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 this is definitely cool. I'm, 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 I'm definitely taking this and vibing it for sure. So as you can see, we've got uh, quite a few oysters ahead of us that we're going to be shucking. I've never shucked one before. This is going to be pretty intense. This is uh, this is big. Um, let's get into it. Hinge facing you. Put it down on the styrofoam. Point that tip into the hinge until you hear it set in. Then you can give it a twist. Slide that blade up along the top of the shell. Okay, along the top shell. <laughs> and you sever the adductor muscle about where my fingertip is. Up like that. Slide underneath. Okay, before we get this one kicked off, we are gonna actually try the oyster that, uh, that Steve just harvested. This is, the this is probably the freshest 
seafood I've ever had in my entire life. Hands down. You guys ready? Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. How was that? What did you think? First one ever? Second. Second one ever? It's actually really good, yeah. yeah it's a lot really better good. than the first one I yeah. had. <laughs> wow. Alright, I want to shock some more Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? Five, four, three, two, one, go! Wow. This is not a good start. You're struggling like this, yeah. Numero uno! No way. <laughs> well, I'm almost through it. Dude, am I? It's kind of hard to talk and do this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Number one. Numero dos. Good. How are you doing out there? Bro? I haven't even got my first one. Correct. Don't deviate from the lesson. Oh, that's people that quick. Quick. This one needs a little bit hard. Come on. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you can crack a poop with this, huh? With this hell? <laughs> Four. Dude, he's, make, he's making a comeback. I'm pulling a wand. What you? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the judge is going to think about this. I got a little bit of shell on that one. There you go. Five. I need one more. Struggle, big struggle. What are you doing wrong? He's fast. That's tough, man. Predation for Matt. There you have it. 100 points to Matt SB Fishing. I need about 1,000. Did you even know you were that good at chucking oysters? Dude, I this think is it's the just in you... my blood, I yeah. guess. Born to shuck. So we're not going to just devour all of these. This is the best part of the challenge. This is the part of the challenge where I'm pretty good at compared to the actual shucking. Cheers. Oysters. This is huge. Appreciate it. This is going to be good. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mmm. So we checked off oysters on our list, got to have some goodies. Huge shout out to Steve, of course, for showing around his farm. That was different and very fun. But now, here we are. This is our last and final shot at catching some saltwater fish. We've traveled many miles on the Cape. We started in North Falmouth, made our way to East Falmouth, and now we are in Chatham, which is like, I guess, the heel of the Cape. Some really epic fishing around here. I've personally never fished here before. So I'm pretty excited to see what this place has to offer. Um, the challenge still continues. We're still fishing for a good cause. Our charitable donations are still on the line. I basically want to just sum up the organization I'm going to be fishing for. Fishing with Warriors. This is the charity um, that I'm going to be fishing for, or I have been fishing for the past few days. Fishing with Warriors is an awesome non-for-profit uh, volunteer-run organization that seeks to help brave men and women of all branches of the armed forces experience the joy, the passion, and the spirit of high-caliber trophy fishing events and activities at no cost to them. I'm really excited. This is kind of like, like my, this is kind of like my last chance to get some seriously big points. Um, so let's not waste another moment and get to casting because these conditions are primo. Oh my God! Big fish. That was a big fish. Yeah, that was on him. That was a big fish. Holy moly, dude! I'm on. Good one. Good one, boys. Boys. Good fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. There's big fish over here, boys. Oh my gosh, big fish, big fish. We are hooked up on a big fish. My first blow up of the day, and it's a toad. Juan just missed a nice one as well. There's some big fish over here. This fish is moving us, boys. Yeah. This fish is moving us. Get him. Someone get the net, maybe, or I don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone's ready. Oh yeah, this is done. It's another giant. It's another giant boys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, other side. Which side? Oh my god, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. Right here. Good job. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Another Big, another big, someone take the motor. We gotta keep fishing. There's some big fish around. Unbelievable. This is what Cape Cod is all about, baby. <laughs> That's some power. Dude, how about boil. this? Dude. How about this? 
when you hook that fish, dude, I, I don't know what the boy on that thing was insane. Like you were moving them. No, I was. I like you were like hooked up and that thing we, just we went towards the water. fish. We went towards the fish yeah. on that. Oh my insane. god. Insane. Oh, I'm on. There we go. Fish on. On the jerk bait. Feels good. Someone pick up a jerk bait or like a swim bait or something. Oh, He's on. You're on two double. I'm on. Oh boy. They're here, oh, boys. Woo! Oh my gosh. This is incredible. All right, we found a nice little break in the current and the wind. A lot of these fish were hanging. There was a whole wolf pack of striper about this big. Caught mine on the jerk bait. He caught us in the swim bait. We also got a nice blow up too, so I think we're probably gonna find some more here. It's looking good. Chatham's producing. Chatham. Oh my god, yeah, dude, they're falling. Look, 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 look. They're right here. They're right here. Incredible. They're right here, dude. I'm gonna figure out this one right here. Oh! oh! Good one. Got him. Got him! Double. <laughs> Double. Double. <laughs> Double. They're at the bottom. They're at the bottom, dude. <laughs> How dirty was that? Shimmer swimmer, baby! I just had a drop to the bottom. Oh boy. So there you have it, guys. We are finished with this Uncharted series here at Cape Cod. It sucks, it's sad to say, but the good news is, is we now get to tally up the score and see who our grand prize winner, who has dominated the challenge scene throughout these past few days. So I'm gonna start off, we just add up the points by the way. We just add up the points. I'm gonna start off with third place going up to first place. So for third place, for Uncharted Cape Cod, we have our friend over here, SB Fishing. Coming in last. Coming in third, which Coming is in third. technically I guess last. Anyway, <laughs> you killed it dude. Thanks brother. Not too bad. Not too it bad. Was good. It was um, good. And for our first place winner, who's going to be able to take home $1,000 to their charity of choice, we have none other than Senor Bassin. Congrats, man. Bassin. You deserve Thank it. Thank you. This good guy fished so hard the past few days. He dominated the football challenge, although he didn't get the oyster challenge done today. Um, you gave 110%. Yeah. I got to say, you didn't. I did. You did not and, try. and you guys make it difficult. You know, you guys didn't make it easy. No, you, know, no. you guys did a good, good job as it was, well. It was it was the points were actually really close. They were within a, a few hundred. Again, huge shout out to Mercury Marine and Catchco for making this trip completely possible, awesome. and for uh, putting forth a one thousand dollar to a, a very awesome cause. And uh, thanks for you know watching. Thanks to you guys for watching and uh, sticking with yet another epic Uncharted series. We appreciate the view so much. Let us know where we should go next down in the comment section below. It is time to head out and head back to our homes. We appreciate the view. We will catch you guys later. Peace.